Good morning. This week I did many projects. I actually finished one whole week and started another week. So you'll see lots of projects this week. I started off with three Alla Prima paintings. They were all done within less than two hours and they all had a limited palette. So this one is black on black, meaning the source is black, the background is black, and every color that I used had some sort of black mixed into it. And I also did a white on white and another limited palette. And yeah, I believe this one took me about an hour and a half. This week was pretty challenging for me. I really love putting in all of the little details and I really love taking my time with these paintings and having a time limit and restraints on which colors I can use and which I cannot is pretty challenging for me, but you know, I got through it. It turned out alright. I have noticed though that these Ella Prima paintings. You learn so much in such a short amount of time and even if the result isn't as great as you wish it would be from another painting that you've spent many hours on, I think it is really cool to see what you can achieve in such a short period of time. this one in about an hour and 15 minutes and it was pretty enjoyable. It was really interesting to work with this very limited palette. Purple actually is not one of my favorite colors but you know gotta work with the sources that they give you. <laughs> I did like the subject though. I have drawn statues before and I really enjoyed that so I figured I'd pick this one. So I mixed purple into pretty much actually every color that I used and I also used some blue tones which help with the contrast a little bit and yeah, I think it turned out pretty okay. This week we also worked on foreshortening. So the charcoal drawing that you see me do here is obviously very foreshortened. The hands look super big compared to the rest of the body and especially compared to the face because they are coming closer to you. And I just used the measuring tool as much as I could because your eyes will deceive you. <laughs> it's actually 
kind of difficult to do this. I don't know how I would do this without measuring constantly, but you know, I like how it turned out. I think I learned a lot from it. It was really good practice. And um, yeah, definitely will need this technique later for other paintings and drawings. After this was self-portrait week and I'm not gonna lie I was terrified I found it so challenging to create all of these self-portraits and to stare at myself in a mirror while creating the portrait which is what you are seeing me doing here and yeah I did not like how it turned out I couldn't get out of my head I, it just ended up looking really cartoony and weird, and I kind of gave up on it. <laughs> there were several other assignments in this week, and you'll see those in the next video, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I know every artist makes self-portraits at some point in their career, and I know they're probably very helpful, and you can probably learn a lot from them, but hard week. <laughs> That was it for this video. Sorry to close it out on such an awkward note. <laughs> um, I hope to see you next week and thank you for being here.